Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out Baboon. Ah oh, man, this game is one of the most frustrating games I've played in years. Also, it's very loud and very painful. I find myself getting a headache very quickly. This is about an hour in and I only just, well, I only just about to unlock the next part of the second world. And I haven't done that much in the game, but honestly, I don't really want to, just because of how the game plays. It just drives me mad. But, let's just go have a quick look around first. We are in the uh, stage select right now. And we can walk around, we can talk to people, and we can go and play levels. And levels are different in that you need to get through them in order to move on. And there are also some side ob objectives you can do. Like, some characters will give you side objectives. That was one example of a side character. Here's a side character with an objective. So, we got this poor guy some honey. So, now he helps us out with the thing we need to get past the level that we are in. Which is... Kind of annoying. If you want me to be perfectly honest. Because... This game's meant to be a sort of action puzzle game. But you find yourself needing to do a little bit of grinding and a little bit of, like, quests on previous levels before you can move on to the next levels, which is really weird. I'm not entirely sure what brought this approach on. You can see what objects you have here, and there are things you can buy to, like, repel enemies and kill them and get some items out of them, and some items you can get from drops, and these are the quest items down here. I imagine that's what the second half is, and I don't even know what these items down here are or what these helmets are, and I know these are extra types of bombs, but... Yeah. You'll see why I don't really care for this game in a minute. And by in a minute, I mean like five seconds. So, here we are in... Baboon. The idea of Baboon is that... You are a monkey with a bomb. And in order to get to the top of every stage to find your missing bananas, of which there is an, a massive amount, fuck this game, of which there is a massive amount right here already, for whatever reason, you... Right, I have to actually land on it with the bomb. Of course I do. So in order to get to the top of every stage, which is the goal, you need to use your bombs to propel you to the top of the stage, a la... Uh, well, honestly, I can't really think of that many, many that many other games like it. It's a very weird title. And of course, in order to do that, you need to put down your bomb and explode it, like I've been doing here. Your bomb has two things that can change its direction and its power. So, you press X to put the bomb down, and you can move it around using the left and right buttons, and that'll determine your angle, and what time you press the X button, that will determine the velocity. I'm gonna turn on the flying guide now, because I'm gonna fucking need it. So in, or um, so, in order to get this right, you need to... You need to press the button in exactly the right spot, and then you need to press it... And, well, let me try that again. You need to press the button in exactly the right spot while also having the bomb in exactly the right spot to send you in the right direction. And without the flying guide, it is very hard, almost impossible to a point, to see just where the hell... I'm gonna have to... There we go. So you need to be almost perfect with your movements in this game, is what I'm trying to say. And that's kind of a problem, because the way the game works by default, you can turn on the flying guide, but you can't get any of the bonus objectives if you turn on the flying guide. So that's no no second or third medals, and you need the medals for 100% completion. You need to be absolutely perfect, because not only are you on a... Well, not only are you going up against different enemies that can kill you, you're also on a time limit. So as you can see over on the right, I'm starting to run out of time already, and I need to just make my way to the top as fast as I possibly can. Which I just did. And telling the exact power and the exact angle you need without the flying guide is next to impossible. They do give you the flying guide anytime you want, which is nice, but eventually you're going to want to turn it off in order to get the other objectives, and then you're going to have a really, really hard time with it. And even then, it can be kind of hard to tell exactly where you're going to end up, because 
you feel like you're a lot bigger than the guide, and you feel like, and you feel like it's way too easy to go blundering into a bloody thing, into a what's the word I'm looking for? I'm just gonna buy a couple of items here just to demonstrate how they work. You can buy items from this shop, and you can. Um, get loyalty points, but I haven't unlocked any sort of loyalty rewards for that yet. I'm not entirely sure what those rewards would be, but whatever. It's just... <sighs> trying to figure this all out... Wrong, bo wrong bomb. Thankfully, you can cancel bombs once you put them down, but... <sighs> yeah. Like, did you see how much I was bouncing there? It is extremely easy to go bouncing into these motherfuckers. It's frustrating as hell. And you, your power, it doesn't go up and down randomly, but at the same time, with the amount the power changes, that's what happens when you kill an enemy. Sometimes you get an item for it, but this time I didn't. Because the, um, with the amount you bounce around and shit, it's almost impossible to tell whether or not you're actually going to land on a actual platform, or whether you're going to land on an enemy, or a deadly obstacle, or whatever. And if you restart stages after having already gone through and using two of your items to get through the, um, I'm gonna have to use the flying guide, thankfully I can turn it on via the options menu, well not the options menu, but the menu here. It's just... It really is just extremely easy to fuck up, is what I'm trying to say. It is so unbelievably easy to fuck up that it just gets really, really frustrating after a while. You spend time and time again trying to get through all these goddamn stages and constantly getting thrown to the walls or to, well, technically to the bats and the bees, but you still spend just a ridiculous amount of time just failing over and over and over again. And yes, you can use the camera, but once you go back to your aiming, you can't see shit. So, you know, good luck getting the timing right without having a very good sense of timing, which is not exactly something that I have. It's just really frustrating. Like, I... I, I haven't played a game this frustrating in ages, and it's just weird. Like, there are a couple of improvements I could make, well, or suggest, I should say, to this game. Like, I don't know why the, um, power is on predetermined stages. Like, how about this? Let me... Oh, Christ, look at, look at this. Alright, I'm gonna have to... There. Why, why is it on predetermined stages? Why don't you do it, like worms, where you can charge up your shot yourself, so you have a much better idea of how much power you're going to put into the shot. And why can't I have, like, a little bit of an angle, a little, uh, at least a relative idea of the angle I'm going to fly off at, because the amount of difference a tiny amount of direction can make in this game is horrendous. Like, we're talking, like, Angry Birds get everything in one shot or miss completely in one shot. Ridiculous. In some cases with this game. And it's, it's, it's almost amazing just how unfair it feels. Honest to God. Like, it, it's not technically unfair. Like, everything... If you were to go through every stage doing exactly the same thing every single time you would get through. There is no gap- there, there is no disagreement, you would get through every time. Shit. But doing things consistently in this game is a fucking nightmare. Absolute fucking nightmare. And that just makes it- that just makes it really hard to recommend on the space of it. Screw it, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna show off another stage. Because I need to go back to World 1 anyway to show off the boss fight. So we're gonna go do that. Let's go do a stage. Um, oh yeah, this one. This one's a this one's a massive pain in the ass. So I'll be able to demonstrate just how much of a pain it really is. But yeah. Combine that with the fact that you have to do things like go back to previous levels to do all sorts of 
random crap, like getting random items in order to progress on the game. And I just, I just find myself getting horrendously frustrated and I'm really bored by it. Apparently I actually did alright that time, what the hell. Every stage has three medals, you, you could see in the bottom left there. The first medal is finish the level, the second is collect all the bananas, and the third is, as you can see there, reach the goal with the helmet, which I actually had on me, but yeah. Just for the fun of it, let's try this one. Reach the goal using 14 bombs or less. This will end badly, I guarantee it. Right. I do not want to go straight up. There we go. I'm actually amazed I'm doing this well, all things considered. The third goal does change every time, so, um... no, oh, bugger me. So, um, you've got... what's the word? So you, you'll have ones like, um, beat the stage in 20 seconds, beat the stage with, um... Beat the stage with, um, by taking out all the enemies, stuff like that. Nothing... Yeah, I didn't use 14 bombs or less. And, ev and uh, every stage has a unique goal like that, so at least that works. Finish off with exactly three enemies. That that doesn't make much sense, though. This game was um, designed by Japanese people, so... The localization may be a little bit off, but the actual dialogue and stuff is fine. It's a very simple story, very simple plot, and it's full of anime girls for some reason. Don't ask me why. It's, it's about... It's about human intelligence level animals. For whatever reason. I don't, I don't even know. It's a bit weird like that. So here's a boss fight. It's a bloody, a bloody boss fight in this game. Thankfully, I already know how to beat this one. And I still managed to fuck it up anyway. Wonderful. The presentation is alright, but the music gives me a headache. Yep, didn't get the full charge on that one, so I failed. Let's give that another shot. Although you did basically just see everything there was to offer. She fires off a few bees while she comes flying down at you. You hit her a few times, and once you've done that enough, you win the boss fight. Nothing too out of the ordinary for that one, my friends. It's just that the whole... The whole bomb mechanic just makes this game a massive pain in the ass for me. I'm sure some people will enjoy it, and it's not an unfair system, it's just so unbelievably imprecise that I... Look at that, she's not even touching me. It, it just feels so unbelievably imprecise if you don't know exactly what you're doing that it gets really frustrating really quickly, and I find it very hard to recommend because of that. Thankfully, it hasn't actually come out in North America yet, so I won't have to if you are, are a North American fan. It also came out in Japan, obviously. Which was where I was playing to pick it up originally, and oh shit. Yeah, forgot about that. Screw that, I'm leaving. I don't want to play this game anymore. But yeah, um... I just, I, I find it entirely too frustrating to recommend. At least it runs okay. And it's really small, too. It's... It's only like a hundred meg. But yeah, I, I find it hard to realistically recommend. I just think it's a bit of a massive pain in the ass, And it just doesn't really do anything else to make up for that except let me use the flying guide. But again, I'm not going to be getting all the medals if I do that. And even with the flying guide, things are a bit of a pain. But yeah. This has been Blue Maxima and I will see you all next time.